Here we go. Found it. It was way down there. Okay, so this is going to take a while. Uh, you guys may feel free to use this code yourself if you all if you have the, the game. I'm going to try to use the gamepad so that I don't have to keep looking up at the screen. So if it looks like I'm looking down, it's because yes, I'm looking down at the gamepad. Capital X, capital Q, uh, capital D, uh, lowercase x, U, capital C, and then exclamation point. You guys are getting the full experience right now. Many of you guys probably won't know the horrors of having to input six page codes into games just to transfer save data over. Because nowadays everything's done digitally and, um, and automatically. But back in the day, you had to use a transfer cable or a uh, transfer password code. The cable, of course, being the easier of the two, um, but it requires you to be right next to the person that you're trying to transfer data with. Um, that person, like, you have to have, like, two uh, Game Boy Advances, and each person is using, one person is using Golden Sun, the other one's using Lost Age. You gotta make sure your battery power is, uh, on, um, up, on the up and up, and everything. Um, okay, so now we're on the second line. That's a uh, dollar sign. Uh, dollar sign, then the letter. Lowercase h. Um, capital X. Oh, wait, what? I'm on a third line, and I'm a dum-dum. Uh, it's 9-3. <laughs> I'm over here putting the wrong code in. Imagine if I did all this work, got to the end, hit the button and said failed, and then they're like retype the entire code all over again. Imagine how destroyed I would be right then. I would probably not play this game. And so for those of you who are wondering what I'm doing, I am inputting a code to transfer all the data from the first Golden Sun to this one, um, and it'll transfer everything, uh, equipment owned, uh, gin, uh, or Ginny obtained, um, levels, and all that stuff. We get transferred over to this game, um, and it cuts down a lot of the legwork, so like, if you want to get all the Ginny, um, without doing the transfer, I think when you meet up with... Uh, when no, not when you get, when you get further into the game, you'll notice that uh, you won't have all the Jenny. Um, I believe there may be a way to get them all in the game outside of using the transfer code. Um, but I believe the transfer code is the easiest way to get them all um, because it transfers the the Jenny that you've obtained. Now, if you haven't attained all of the Jenny in your in the Golden Sun playthrough. Um, I believe those Jenny that you did not obtain will appear somewhere on the uh, the world in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I'm not entirely certain how it works, specifically because I've never not had all the Jenny uh, whenever I transferred the game. And I always made it a point to do a transfer. I don't think I've ever played this game without a transfer. All right, chat, we're almost done with the first page. Aren't you guys excited? That is not a U, that is a V. I almost messed up. Uh, capital R, uh, was it B? Um, capital L, lowercase Q, lowercase. Oh, that's not a T, that's the plus sign. 
W Y. All right, page two. Let's go. It's almost over. It's not almost over. We have so much to do. <laughs> Sorry, my wife is doing some of the fabuloso. Um, and it's really strong. It's got me uh, sneezing. I have a sensitive nose. Jesus, that stuff is so strong. Did she spill it? Give me a second. She didn't spill it per se, it just got in the sink and it wasn't rinsed down all the way so that stuff was like basically waiting out of the bathroom and all up my nose. I'm just like, oh, I'm dying. I was sitting there choking for a, a little bit there. Uh oh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are leaking out. Be careful everybody. When you're perusing uh, social media as well as YouTube. Um, thumbnails and images will probably be hanging around. Um, so if you don't want to get spoiled. Uh, caution is recommended. Um, I'm usually pretty good about avoiding spoilers. Um, and, but if I do happen to see a spoiler, it, it doesn't ruin my uh, excitement for a game. Oh, I do think of the person that spoiled the game as a piece of trash, but I'm still going to pick the game up. I'm still going to love it. I'm still going to be excited about things. I think the only downside to it is that it gets me to, it gets me in a mood where I'm like, I know it, so now I feel like I have to share it with a It's like, I know it, I'm so excited about it that I feel like I need to share it with everybody. Even though I know it'll ruin it for them. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? I think I'm really good at keeping secrets. Though, I would be the first to tell people to not tell me any secrets uh, that they really want to keep, um, keep hidden. Because uh, if it's like really juicy and exciting, um, I could be persuaded to let it out. If only to see people's reaction to it. First ad is in uh, in about a minute. Um, while you guys are on the ad break, though, I will continue to put this code in because this code is astronomically long. Um, another reason why I'm doing this on stream is because now then I can put it in my YouTube vod uh, when, when I post a video, um, just in case other people would like to use the code for their playthrough. I don't mind if people use the code. And 38 seconds. All right, page number three. It just keeps going. I wish I could copy and paste this code so I don't have to do this. Capital D, lowercase y, capital B. Okay, now line two, capital U, capital R, capital W, capital N. So capital U, capital R, capital W, capital N. 
and then an equal side. Enjoy the ad, everybody. I'm gonna keep inputting codes. Uh, capital Q. Um, two, three. Seven T. Two, three, seven, capital T. Now we have Q, W, K, capital Q, capital W, lowercase k. Uh, six, and then the lowercase h. Now we have capital M, lowercase c. Uh, lowercase j, capital F, and capital R. So lowercase uh, j, capital F, and then all the way down at the end you have the R. Um, now we have capital D, capital V, uh, number two, then capital N, uh, and then we have the number, the pound sign, I should say. Um, then we have capital P, lowercase y, um, capital F, lowercase c, and then a lowercase v. Um, for the final line on the third page, we have lowercase f, uh, number six twice, then the capital D, followed by a capital G. Uh, and then the last section of this one is going to be lowercase m. Uh, everybody that just came back from the ad, Welcome back. Hope the ads weren't as uh, annoying as you as they usually are. Um, for those of you who are wondering why you got the ad, um, it's just something that we're doing uh, to keep pre rolls off of channels. When you know new viewers come into the chat, they don't get bombarded by a pre roll instead. All right, page number four. Start this off with a lowercase v and an n. Uh, estimation point. Um, then in lowercase h and a capital T. Um, now we have lowercase a, uh, a number seven, uh, lowercase p and a u. Doop. Doop. Um, and then lowercase a. Now for the second line on this page, you have lowercase b and a k. So, boop, boop, uh, pound sign, equal sign, and then lowercase j. Um, and then on the next line, you have lowercase i, followed by lowercase y, uh, the at sign, lowercase p, and 2. Alright, for the third line, we start with a lowercase m, and then the and sign, or the ampersand, I think is what it's called. Uh, capital A and to lowercase u and r. Uh, next up we have number 9, capital E, uh, lowercase y, v, and i. So we want to do boop, boop, and bing, bing, bing. Alright, now for the fourth line we have capital E and a capital K. Uh, followed by the pound sign, the dollar sign, and a capital N. And then after that we have capital P, followed by the plus symbol, uh, the dollar symbol, another capital N, and then a lowercase h. Alright, and for the final line on page number four, you have a capital U, a capital E, capital B, T, uh, and a capital Z to close it out. Uh, and then for the last one, the last part you have lowercase w followed by a capital F, a capital X, the number four, and the number six. All right, page number five. I think this is the last full page because I think the sixth page only has the first row. All right, so to start this 
this page off, you have capital P, capital L, the number four, the number nine, and the lowercase v. Um, then you have capital S, uh, number eight, then a lowercase d. Um, followed by lowercase x and a lowercase q. Alright, for the second line, we have capital B, as in Victor, uh, lowercase d, lowercase i, the number four, and a capital T, or not T, Z. Uh, next to that, we have lowercase h, lowercase n, um, eight, five, and then I believe the letter S, lowercase t. Third row, we have NTDA, all lowercase. So N, oh, that's not an N. Make sure that it's a T. Yeah, T. Okay, so N, T, D, A, followed by exclamation point. All right, and then next to that, we have capital X, uh, capital K, uh, lowercase E, W, and a capital V. All right, for the fourth line, we have lowercase k and uh, j, all by a question mark, and then the plus sign. Um, and then next to that, we have lowercase s, lowercase p, um, two c's, and, oh wait, my bad, it's two capital c's, my bad and a capital N. All right, for the final line on the fifth page, we have lowercase x, lowercase u, capital C, capital H, and a question mark. Next to that, we have capital H again, a capital N following that, the number five, the percent sign, and a question mark. Um, now for the final page, there's only one line, uh, and this line consists of an a ampersand, a capital N, or M I should say, a capital S, a capital C, and an equal sign. Um, and following that you have a capital R, capital C, capital G, another C, and a capital F. Chat, that took half of my life. <laughs> I kid you not, that took half of my life. Feels good to have it done though. Uh, his name will be Isaac. What? Why did it only give me two of each? Cure, cure well, potent cure, retreat, move, Ragnarok, quake, earthquake, quakes, risk. I'm confused. The levels are there, but. Oh, okay, never mind. The gym is just split up weird. So, yes, 2, 2, 2, 1. So that's 2, 2, 1, 2. So let's see. That's four. Let me count this. That's two, four, six, seven. Um, two Mercury, four Mercury, five Mercury, seven Mercury. Uh, two Mars, three Mars, five Mars, seven Mars. Uh, one Jupiter, two Jupiter. Uh, one Jupiter, three Jupiter, five Jupiter, seven Jupiter. Okay. I was like, what the hell happened to my chance? The game automatically just splits them up in a weird way. They could at least made it seem interesting instead of this weird mess that they put. I wonder, can I? I can't switch to Jin, can I? I'm so confused by what just happened. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Ages ago, 
Or so the stories tell. The power of alchemy ruled over the world of Wayard. Wait, do I have a a voice for this? Nope, I don't have a, a voice set up for this yet. Darn. What's up, uh, Ryu? How you doing? Let me see if I have to find a uh, a voice for this. Yep, here we go. I think this is the voice I want. Here, just a second. Doing okay, that's good to hear. You ready for some uh, Lost Age? Okay, so let me see. Okay, so. Ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Wayard. Alchemy brought the um, the base brought the base elements of humanity into thriving civilizations like lead into gold. But in time, man's dream gave birth to untold strife, dreams of endless riches, of eternal life, of dominion over all that live, dreams of conquest and of war. These dreams would have torn the world apart if not for a few brave and wise men who sealed away the power of alchemy deep in Mount Alf's soul sanctum. I don't think I'm supposed to read this part right here, the prologue from book one. So wait, did that work? I couldn't hear myself, so I don't know for... Um, if that worked. Did the voice change work? Did I sound different? Did you hear the voice change? No, no luck, luck with, with it. it? It didn't change. change. The that Town of Vail. Guarded the secret for many years. Year now. Okay, cool. All right. The town of Vale guarded the secret for many years until Isaac and Jenna, whose parents died in a storm three years before, disturbed the sanctum. Wait. <laughs> what? What about Garrett? How about now? Doesn't work again. How about now? It's weird. So I guess I have to have that on um, hearing me as well. Interesting. But yeah, so they just completely forgot about Garrett and uh, Crad being there. Soft. You hear my voice twice now? That's weird. Okay, let's okay, try this. Others. Okay, so I just turned off my voice. Can you still hear me? That's weird. It's supposed to take over the regular voice. Now you just hear my regular voice? Weird. Let me change the voice mod. Because this one's a beta one. So maybe it's because of that. Darn, because I really want to use the narrator one. I don't think they have another narrator type one. I'm going to have to just make up my own narrator voice. Okay, we'll just do my own narrator voice then. Because that one's in beta. Satros and Minority of the Mars Clan followed them into the Sanctum. With them traveled uh, Jenna's brother, Felix, thought lost in that same tragic storm. Satros and Minority stole the elemental stars, the keys to breaking the seal on the power of alchemy, and kidnapped Jenna and the scholar Krad. If these four jewels were used to fire the elemental lighthouses, the seal on alchemy would be broken. Oh, okay, now they know who Garrett is. 
I like how they said Isaac and Jenna disturbed Soul Sanctum. I'm like, there are like two other people there, but okay. Isaac and Garrett set out to stop Saturos and rescue their friends and return the elemental stars to their home in Soul Sanctum. They banded together with a young wind adept named Ivan and pursued Santos and Bernardi um, to Emil, a winter locked town near Mercury Lighthouse. I actually forgot to do this. There, they met the guardian of the lighthouse, water adept named Mia. With her, they pursued Santos to the area high atop Mercury Lighthouse. Isaac was too late to stop Santos. From, uh, I'm going to say Isaac and friends. Isaac and friends were too late to stop Satros from lighting the beacon and escaping. Again, Isaac chased him across. Um, Isaac and friends chased him across Angara to the shores um, of the Carnival Sea. Taking passage on a troubled ship, Isaac crossed the Carnival to Toby. He spoke with Toby's leader, a strange man named Bobby. Baba. Bobby entered I um, Isaac into Colossus. Oh my god, do we don't do we really need to know this? This is not important. <laughs> Bobby entered Isaac into Colossus as a test of his powers. Isaac synergy won Colossus and earned him Bobby's trust. Bobby revealed a great secret to Isaac. You know what? I'm curious. If I did not win Colossal, would this still say the same thing? I've always made it a point to win Colossal, so I'm not 100% certain. But now I'm curious, if I have a save file that did not win Colossal, if this this phrase right here that says Isaac won Colossal, if it would change to something else, like maybe Isaac participated in Colossal and came close to winning, earning Bobby's trust or something like that. The Wonders of the World, I should look that up. Thanks to a mystic drop from the lost land of Lemuria, uh, Bobby has lived for 150 years. He offered to help Isaac, who then headed deep into Gondawan. In the town of Lalivero, Isaac learned that Satros and Minority had kidnapped a young girl, a girl named Sheba, whom they needed within the lighthouse. Isaac fought and defeated them atop the lighthouse, but it was too late. The beacon had been lit. They could have said Felix like the beacon. No, that was Satros. No, why? Ooh, that was Satros that lit it. A great um, cataclysm followed. Sheba fell into the sea. Felix jumped in to save her. But both were lost in the rolling waves. Jenna left the lighthouse to find them, but to no avail. Isaac went to Lalivera where Bobby asked him to find Lemuria and the remaining lighthouses. He gave Isaac, um... Uh, and Lemuria ship to make the uh, journey for the, the for the lost land. You know what? For some reason, I thought he was referring to Bobby's aid and not Bobby himself. Um, I'm probably wrong about that, though. This chapter of our story begins with Jenna, just before the beacon of the Venus Lighthouse is lit. It's a girl. My favorite character of the game and of, uh, well, yeah, of the game, period. Camelot presents Golden Sun, book two. You can hear Jenna's theme when Isaac and Felix are not on the main team. I'm gonna have to give that a shot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now Felix becomes the strong silent type. Like Isaac was in book one. Are you sure we should be leaving like this? Once we go down those stairs, we can't get back into the lighthouse. Maybe I should have stopped my brother. Jenna, is something troubling you? 
I just... What is it? What's wrong? I have a bad feeling. Like something terrible is going to happen. How unlike you, Jenna. Surprised to see me. Uh, Alex, were you listening? Where's Felix? Why isn't he here with you? My brother? Uh, my brother? He just left us. What could Felix possibly be thinking? He was worried about Sheba. He went to check on her. He was supposed to be leading you out of here. I thought you would have been far from the lighthouse by now. Why are you still here? We tried to stop Felix from going back up to the ferry. I like him. Once Felix gets an idea into his head, he rarely changes his mind. Alex? Uh, Alex? What were you talking about just now? What did, you, what did you mean when you said, how unlike you? I was merely surprised to hear you expressing such concern, Jenna. Nevertheless, I'm impressed Felix went back. Don't change the subject, Alex. What? did you mean? Are you saying that I'm insensitive? If that's what you heard, then I must have misspoken. Accept my apologies. Well, Jenna, I think Alex has, uh, has said his piece on the matter. I'm not, sh I'm not sure he has, Crad. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? I retract my statement, my dear. Forget all about it, Jenna. So tell me about this feeling, Jenna. I'm just, I'm not sure we should be leaving Venus Lighthouse yet. What do you say? You can't really mean to remain here. Alex is right. He's far too dangerous. Um, it's far too dangerous, Jenna. We will only hinder the others. The others? Did Isaac follow us to the lighthouse? It would seem so. He must be trying to stop Satros and Renardi. If my brother goes back and finds Isaac, they're going to end up fighting. If the Venus Lighthouse has not been yet um, lit, yes, that will they will fight. Felix is, uh, Felix is a terribly rash young man, is he not? Why are boys such fools? He may be rash, but Felix is no fool. He's, his good qualities outweigh his bad. That's why I think Isaac, that's why I think Isaac would understand if we just talked to him. Why didn't I think of this before now? Please, can we go back up and talk to Isaac? I'm afraid that's not possible. Alex, why? He is an enemy. Isaac, an enemy? Our methods may differ, but you and I ultimately want the same thing. So like the elemental lighthouses. Isaac and his friends would prevent this from happening. So that makes them enemies? But fear not, they won't be able to defeat Satoros and Minority. So, um, Satoros and Minority. So, Felix went back to the top of the lighthouse. Why do you seem so pleased, Alex? Why shouldn't I be? After all, the lighthouse will soon shine brightly once again. Alex, why do you want to see the beacon lit so badly? Oh, so it's my turn to answer questions, is it? Once, alchemy was a common place throughout this world. With its powers, mankind worked wonders across the land. The Lost Age of Man. I want to see that world restored once again and... And what, Alex? We've spoken long enough already. Let us continue this another time. We should leave the lighthouse now before the beacon is fired. I concur. Let's meet at the location we agreed on and wait for Felix. All right, Crowded. All right, Crowded. Let's go. They talked for literally ever, though, by the way. Alright, so let's see. No usable synergy because... Oh, but I do have a stick, chat. We have a stick. 
So we're clearly, we're clearly good to go, right? We have a stick. We, that means we win all games. We destroy all the bad guys because we have the stick. The stick of truth. I believe there was like an item you could pick up. It's unfortunate. I think this is the only time I get to control Jenna on the overworld map, right? Someone opened the chest and was like, I'm going to take the goods that were in here, but you know what? Let me put an herb in there for the next person to come and take. Ba 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 Bye, birdies. There they are! Get them! I owe them to just to stand guard here, but I never thought we'd actually run into them. Scoundrels, what have you done with Sheba? Return her now, or you're really going to regret it. Um, aren't there supposed to be more of them? Uh, maybe they're just the first ones to come out. Great, that means we've got them outnumbered. We could probably take them, you think? Go fetch the other Toby soldiers. Still stationed in Lalibero. Yes, sir. And we'll go tell the guys in the caves. Got it, boss. How unfortunate. It looks like an ambush. What should we do, Jenna? What do you mean? Look around. We'll have to fight them. Are you serious? Jenna, are you really prepared to fight these men? We don't have any other choice. We have to. Well then, allow me to show them some of your burden. Burden? We regroup along the road leading um, away from La Libero. Do you understand? You don't need to remind us, Alex. We know the place. Follow this road west and take the path down to the cave. The cave into that. You guys remember that time where Craddon told Alex we didn't need to be reminded of where to go because we know how to get there? You remember that time Craddon said that? I do. I also remember that time where Alex was like, I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Literally just like, you go that way, right? Yeah, that's that's where you go. On the other side of that cave, you'll find a small peninsula called Ijima. We meet there. Thankfully, only those workmen block your route. And fortunately, they don't look too tough. Hello? We can hear you. That's just plain rude. Why don't the two of you escape and leave the Toby soldiers to me? The two of us alone? You can use energy, can't you, Jenna? Um, yes. Then you'll be fine. We shall reconvene at the peninsula. You think you can take on Toby's finest on your own, little man? I do not wish to inflict unnecessary bloodshed. Don't wish to? What's that supposed to mean? If you lay a hand on these two, I assure you that you will be made to regret it. By advancing, I assume you mean to fight. Permit me to strike the first blow. Ooh, he got hit far. Okay, well. They're gone. What was that? All right, and three, two, one. Ad should be starting any second now. Chat, enjoy the ad.
It's about a minute and a half. I will wait for you guys to be done. Let's see. While that's running, I will also run and grab a, uh, a a quick candy bar snack thing. I'll be right back. A couple seconds. Just in time, too. It looks like the ad just ended. I'm so good at timing. I went and grabbed a handful of Halloween candy from the bucket. It's all the candy that we did not pass out uh, due to lack of people. We only had a group, one small group of five that came, um, which makes sense. It was raining. I kind of figured most people weren't going to be out trick-or-treating in the rain. Um, so I was actually surprised that that one group came, but it looked like they were driving around instead of walking. So, you know, makes sense, right? I don't know whatever, um, I don't know, but whatever he did, it's out of our league. You guys deal with him until backup arrives. Oh, so you're next? Hey, no need to worry about us. We're not soldiers, we're not anybody. Seriously, there's no way we're gonna face off against you. Let's get out of here. Ah, he fell, he fell. How undignified and how shameful. Jenna, now is your chance. Go to Ijima and wait for me. I'm not finished with you yet. You mentioned backup from Olivero. Let's go meet them together, shall we? Hey, pal, when they get here, you'll really be in for it. Do you honestly believe that even a hundred of you could stop me? How amusing. This I must see. They're gone. Come on, Jenna. Let's get. Let's be going. There's nothing standing in our way now. But what is it now? Ah, you're worried about hurting any innocents. Oh. Oh, you must be concerned about Felix. We can't do anything to help him here. Let's get going to the peninsula. I know, I just wanted to see if they let me go that way. Why do I gotta be the one to wait for backup? Yeah, but please, just let me go in. Hey, that scary guy with the blue hair is not with you. Great, now, now you'll see what I'm really made of. 
Imagine the guy getting all gung-ho about attacking a girl. He's like, oh, it's just an old man and a girl? I can do this. Get him. Well, that hits them. Whoa there, where'd the blue haired guy go? Who cares, I can handle some girl and her grandpa. Thank you for taking me lightly, you jerk. And he's not my grandpa. I assume there's nothing down here that I can get, right? Yeah. For the um, for him here, you two aren't going anywhere. Except with us, back to Master Iodim. Do I have enough synergy to just wipe them all out? I got crit strikes for like ten. Meanwhile, I'm hitting them all for fifty-two. Totally worth it. All right, so maybe you are going somewhere after all. <laughs> somewhere far away from you, buddy. Oh no, I got attacked by a, a weird ant with boxing gloves that's so that's such a weird creature my that was invigorating he wasn't too strong I never knew fighting could be so fun ah but we better get on to the plen uh, peninsula so did, did Jenna just become the strong silent type too I like how they're standing on top of the tree. And the tree is like miniature sized. This is the place, isn't it? The peninsula at the end of the road to the west. That's what he told us. This must be Ajiba. Hmm, Manai said a ship would be here. We ought to see if we can find it. Jenna, it's over there. At first glance, it seems like a normal ship, but there's something odd about it. Craton, wait. Um, Craton, wait. Oh, I swear, you're like a kid with a new toy. Hurry up in there. What's wrong? It's missing. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What are you talking about? The thingy. That makes it go. What do you mean? What's so important about this thingy? The boat can't move without it. That minority, that minority she tricked us. Tricked us? Yeah, by passing this dud boat off on us. There's no trick. If this boat, um, boat is a dud, how did it get here in the first place? Oh, right. It must have been the orb. What orb? Don't you remember that Crystal Satoros was what I'm carrying? That big black pearl thing? I'm certain he said it could move the ship with it. Jenna, grab me. There you are. I see you found the boat. We set sail as soon as the beacon has been fired, correct? Strange. What is, what is it? The beacon. It hasn't been lit yet. You're, you're right. Why is it taking so long? And why hasn't my brother returned? 
And this is when everything started going to pot. They've done it, Jenna. They lit the beacon. What's happening, Cred? I mean, what's happening, Cred? Why won't the ground stop shaking? Strange, I think it might actually be getting worse. I think the lighthouse is collapsing. Look, the ground around it is crumbling. Mercury Lighthouse didn't react this way. What makes Venus different? I mean, Earth. That last shimmer tore a rift in the uh, Shohala range. How are we going to get back to the Gondolin now? I too much drift you away from the mainland. But what will happen to us? We have now officially returned to the moment at which we left off on, in on Golden Sun. After the credits, that was. Apparently all this was happening during the credits. All, all that stuff that we just went through was happening during the credits. Now it was actually during the whole fight. <laughs> Jeez, you're not helping times like this. Hey, I'm hungry. How can you even think about food? I wonder what happened to my brother. I can't be certain, but it looks like they lit the Venus beacon. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me that. That's how we wound up adrift at sea, right? My, aren't you a cranky today, Jenna? Well, I suppose you're just worried about Felix. Isaac and the others must have been to, at the White House, too. I suspect you're right. I miss them, Isaac, Felix. Come with me. There is something I wish to show you. I'm curious, though. Did they actually wash up here, or did Felix somehow save them? Not Felix, uh, Alex. Shiva, Felix! Felix, Shiva! They're alive! They're really alive! What is this? What is this, Alex? What happened? Isn't this like the second time we've seen this? Since starting this file? I thought Felix and Shiva were still inside the lighthouse. It's miraculous. Miracle or no, I'm just happy my brother's alive. What happened back there? Oh, thank the element she's awake. Shiva, are you all right? It's me, Jenna. Jenna? What happened? It seems you drifted here with Felix. With Felix? Take your time. Do you feel all right, Shiva? Where are we? Ijima, we were all to meet here. But now, the island is floating away from Gondawan. This island is moving? And that must be very hard to believe, Shiba. When the Venus Lighthouse was lit, a massive tremor tore us off the continent. The ground beneath the lighthouse roiled, as though it might crumble away. I remember now, and that's what carried us away from Gondolin. What happened to you, Shiba? You were the you were in the sea and Satros. Satros and Minority are gone. What do you mean? Another group came and they fought Satros and Minority and won. Was it I? Was it Isaac? Isaac. Yes, I think that's what they called him. 
You expect me to believe Isaac and his companions defeated Santos and Minority? Have they really grown so powerful in so short a time? How did you wind up in the sea? When the beacon was lit, the earthquake knocked me off the lighthouse tower. That's when my... Then what's my... <clears throat> what's my brother doing here? He tried to save me from drowning. Felix jumped from the top of the lighthouse? Dear me. Felix, are you awake? Ah, Felix, you're awake. Where are they? Are you sure you should be standing? You don't seem very surprised to find yourself on a floating island. Felix, once you've saved... Ah, uh, Shiva. You must have swam out here, correct? You must have seen that this island was floating when you were swimming. What do we do now? I have no idea. Um, nobody knows what lies beyond the Eastern Sea. Unfortunately, I'm a student of alchemy, not geography. Finally awake? <laughs> yeah. Felix the Princess, so Felix needs to sleep longer. What is it, Alex? What's the matter? Can't you see it? It's land! An island! It's a little big for an island. That's no island, it's a new continent. We're saved! I mean, we're saved! So it would seem. Wait, what is it? We're going to pass north of the continent. She's right. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, Crad and Felix, what are we going to do? Oh, this can't be good. What is it? It's a tidal wave. A tidal wave? The earthquake must have caused it. Oh, oh my. It's going right at us. Alex, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? At times like this, where, where would be the good mannequin? We'll be washed away! Hell! Imagine we just woke up and we immediately got attacked by a wave. Alright, check our arms. Looks like the arms are still attached. That's a good start. The legs are working fine too. Yep, you're fine. You didn't check for your head trauma or anything like that? What? What am I doing down here? Oh, I must have blacked out when the wave hit. Hey, we've hit land. That wave must have carried us here. What luck. Have you checked everyone else? Are they all right? Great, then let's go. Go ahead and soul by net. Ouch, that was quite a blow. What happened? Um, when that wave hit. Felix, look! The wave carried us to the continent. We've hit solid land. Let's go, Felix. I like how to say Craig and join the party. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, no. I had no idea. Oh, see, now I wish I had just walked off without talking to anybody to see what they would all say. I didn't realize you could just leave him. Aren't you worried about me in the slightest? Did you rescue me from the lighthouse just to leave me for dead on this island? Now, I'm sure you meant to do no such thing. I wonder. Oh, don't give me that sad face. You know I can't stay mad at you. After all, you did save me, Felix. I won't soon forget that. Don't leave me behind like that again, okay? 
So that big wave pushes us around. Uh, push us around. Way to go, nature. What's out here anyway? That's what we're about to find out. Let's get started then. <laughs> so you said. Oh, so you still care about me in the slightest? <laughs> to restore alchemy to the world. By lighting the four elements on um, lighthouses, he might just succeed. But why the ship? The remaining two lighthouses are unreachable by land. None remain to be lit across the eastern sea. So what should we... We must go to the great western sea. The western sea? Is that where we're going, Felix? Yep. Well said, Felix, and go there we shall. That's right, our parents live lives depend on it. What about you, Sheba? What do you mean? It's not going to be an easy trip. And there's no reason you should have to face that danger, right, Felix? Then you should know my reason for traveling with all of you, Felix. What do you mean, Shiba? What reason? It's my destiny. This destiny is your... This question is your destiny? And you couldn't tell us about this earlier. But how can we trust you when we don't know why you're with us? I'm sorry, but please, you have to take me. You must. You need me. I don't understand. Why exactly do we need you? You know that I'm an adept, don't you? I can control the wind, as Felix already knows. You knew that she was a wind adept? Satros had met, I must have mentioned it at the top of the lighthouse. I see. They saw that I was a wind adept right away. They kidnapped me for my powers. They needed them on their journey. Oh, yeah. They would have needed an alignment that complemented their own. They said they would need a wind adept in order to light Jupiter's beacon. Of course, and I suspect we'll need your power there as well. So you, so you see, you do need me. All right, I guess I understand now. But you want to know what she meant by destiny too, don't you? Nope. Oh, so that's just me? Too bad I can't read minds like Sheba, huh? I'm sure she would tell us her. Um, I'm sure she'll tell us in her own time, won't you, Shiba? I think for now that we should simply trust her. Now, I am quite famous. Shall we get moving? Sure, if you guys shut the heck up. Boo ba ba be ba ba do ba ba do. There's nothing on that island, though, right? I don't think there's anything else like a secret or anything like that.